Gag and welcome to episode 1 of my brand new series, Minecraft Factions, over on my server. Well, technically mine and Norbim's server, but yes, I am so excited for the start of this new series, guys. It is going to be fantastic. Um, so, let's get started. So, just in case you guys did not watch the live stream, um, I'm going to be going over... Stupid cow. I'm going to be going over... Um, just sort of what happens when you first start. So when you log in, this is where you'll spawn. Um, and by the way, the IP um, will eventually be player.evopvp.com. But there's a slight temporary issue where for some reason that's not quite working. Um, so we're just waiting for that to update. So, temp so temporarily, if you can't use that one, some people can actually log in with it. But if you can't use that one, then there's a number one. Um, so I'll put both IPs in the description. So if the first one doesn't work, then try the second one and that will work. So yeah, this is where you spawn. Um, you'll spawn in with all of these starter items, which is a pretty good selection. We've got uh, like chain protection one armor, so we can put all that on. We've got some iron uh, tools. Um, I think this isn't actually part of the part of the uh, starter kit. I think someone might have just thrown that at me. But um, yeah, and then this is where you'll spawn. You see, we've got this beautiful big E um, for Evo PvP. And then if you walk down here. There is a shop in here, so this is where you can buy and sell um, like items using your in-game money. To see how much in-game money you've got, you just type slash bal. Um, so I've got $482 currently. I think you start off with like 480 or something. Um, but yeah, basically you can sell items here that you found whilst mining, and then you can um, also buy items as well. But buying them is a lot more expensive than selling them. Um, and as you can see, there's an absolute ton of different things which you can use to sort of build your bases and whatnot. Now let's just see what's going on. Oh, just been told um, in the admin Skype chat that a bug's been sorted because obviously this um, server is obviously still in beta, so there are lots of bugs and things, and we're still getting staff and all that stuff, which is definitely getting fixed, and I think that's one of the admins who just flew past. But basically you can come out here, and this is like sort of the main little area. So this, this portal over here um, is very useful. It's teleport to a random location because basically you can jump in there, and it will take you to a random point in the world by where you're by yourself and that and then you can like set up your faction without being like interrupted and raided like straight away and look at all these beautiful people by the way um, and eventually we're, we're obviously we're still working on things eventually this thing right here is gonna be a warp to um, a, like an, a PvP arena so people can just go and like just have a fight and stuff so that'll be pretty cool but yeah what we're going to do now is we'll have a look over here because this is um, sort of the boundary of the war zone and basically once you jump down there PvP is in it oh <laughs> I think he just fell down go on a day to jump down once you jump down there PvP is enabled and people can start like fighting each other um, so that is uh, a bit dangerous so we're not gonna do that just yet because we are going to jump into our random location we're gonna say bye to all of these people because it's time to get our faction set up so we'll jump in here goodbye everybody and we've spawned in a cave system. Okay, uh, actually that's pretty good. I, I was about to check what level I'm on because... Uh, map is saving! I was about to check what level I'm on um, so to see how far I am from the surface. But that would have released my cowards and then you guys would have tracked me down and, and you would have raided my base. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. Okay, I'm on Y23. Alright, not, I'm not letting you guys see my coordinates. <laughs> Right, I actually, I think this is a good location, so I think this is a good place to uh, set up my base. Um, hmm, so, I've already created my faction, you see when I type something, um, uh, you see my faction is called Killing Cowards, um, and to create a faction you slash F create, um, and then you put the name um, of, you know, of your faction, and then you just press enter, and that's created it. Now, I'm going to be honest, I, I don't know much about factions, so let, we're going to try and, um, I think I do F claim to claim this area. Uh, does that work? You did buy world, that one there, for your faction from wilderness. So yeah, so I now own this. So if someone else came across here, they'd be notified that I owned this little bit of area, that it was owned by Killing Cowards. And um, you see when I walk around it, it tells us if I'm in the wilderness. Or if I'm in uh, Killing Cowards area. And now people that are not in my faction can't edit this. So let's just see how far... Okay, so it's just a very little bit of it that I actually own. I don't know if I can claim more. Let's just try it. Slash F claim. Oh, I can. Uh, okay. And can I... 
can't right yeah so we, we've, we own sort of this little bit here so we need to create like a little bit of a boundary type thing so I guess we should just start mining this and we can create like a wall and things. So the stream was an absolute ton of fun guys. I really, really enjoyed it. No Boom had a great time as well. It, it was it was really awesome. Um, we got, I think we had at maximum time, at peak time we had 150 people um, watching the stream and we had 130 players on, which is uh, incredible. Like that, I, I did not expect that we would do sort of that well. Um, some lapis down here, which we may as well mine because we'll be able to sell this in this shop. So here we go, take uh, this, there we go, and you see our mining keeps going up and up, which is good. But yeah, it was really fun to interact with all of you guys. I, I had a lot of fun and so did Nobum, like I've already said. And I can't, and it was just, we got, we, <laughs> we had so much more support than I ever imagined that we would have. Um, I did not expect that we'd get that many players on. Um, which was really really cool and we already had like a, a reason a, like quite a few people have donated as well so I'm actually gonna quickly um, let you know all of the names of people have donated just to give them a bit of a shout out we've got Chief Dread 2, Demi Exitar, Ryan Mac 6, I Win You Lose 5, Ryan Mac 6 again, Demi Exitar again, Nate Star 111, Adam Crafted, Hot Shot Muz, Muzza, um, Lethal Rage Peter0124, ProXI Lewis, Demi Exitar again, Cutman1020, AKMiner98, and Pinoy Josh. So thank you to all of you guys for supporting the server. That is absolutely amazing. Let's F claim this area as well. There we go. Um, I, I did not expect that. And obviously, if you guys do donate, then that money just will go straight back into allowing us to sort of improve the server and stuff. Um, when we first started the launch stream, there was like a few bugs and things, like there was a lot of lag, but the admins were working really hard to fix that, and um, that was that was really cool. So now I think the lag is like completely fixed basically, or it is for me anyway, and I'm pretty sure it is for everyone else. Um, so we'll just keep mining this. You are too tired to use this ability again. Um, so that was when I was right clicking the pickaxe, so that must be to do with the plugin. I've got a lot to learn because I still don't know very much about it, but I don't know that our mining is ranking up a lot. Okay, so I think if I do... Um, slash set home is that how I make this my home slash set home home set and then basically from now on no matter where I am in the world I can do slash home and it will automatically allow me to teleport straight back here um, okay so we, we kind of need to make this place look um, a secret so let's turn this into wood and then we can build some furnaces and then we'll build, we'll, we'll um, smelt some stone, and then basically we can like block the cave up a little bit just so people aren't like, uh, they don't like spot it if you know what I mean. So we'll shove, uh, oh we don't actually have much cobblestone left because I turned it all into furnaces by mistake. <laughs> okay, let's just break this area out a bit, make it look a little bit tidier. There we go. Um, and eventually, you know, I'll get more people involved. Quite a few of you will be a asking, um, wait what's I say? You should go into slash viz when you record so people don't know. Yeah, I don't mind. People, I'm fine over here. Um, we just keep making this place look pretty. Uh, quite a few of you guys will be interested in joining my faction, I know. But the thing is, I know 99% of you will be really would be really awesome in my faction. You'd help out. You'd, you'd help raid bases. You'd collect a bunch of resources and stuff. But the thing is, there would be that, like, um... That one percent of people that would like troll and grief, and because of that, I'm afraid I probably won't be letting people into my faction. I will, however, be um, allowing people to. Oh, and look at this little cool plugin, which shows you the guy's health. Um, I will, however, probably be allying with quite a few people, so I don't mind doing that. Um, but yeah, and like I've said, I really don't know very much about factions at all. So this is going to be, um, you know, I want you guys to post comments down below, telling me really. Give me suggestions on what I should do in the series and stuff because I'm, I'm definitely a total noob. Oh, mining skill has increased by one. Total ten. Oh, yeah. So I think shortly we might go back to spawn and we can sell some items just to show you guys how you do it. I haven't actually sold anything yet, but um, I can't wait to do that anyway. And right now it, we've got 20 people online or something like that, I think, which is awesome because I'm actually recording this at 12 noon. So this must be all of the Europe people on. Um, in future, I'll probably be recording a little bit later so that both the I can play with both the US and the Europe people. But um, currently, I just I just want to get this video out so that I could upload it later tonight. Because if you don't know, I have absolutely dreadful internet, and it takes me like it would take me about five hours to upload a ten-minute video. Um, right, so shove that in there, 
And well, that didn't go in. Wait, right, cobblestone, go in there. And then we'll put some some coal in. And uh, yeah, I think we're good. So we just organise our inventory. We've got this awesome little sharpness sword, which I think someone gave to me. So thank you. By the way, guys, um, you don't need to give me... Uh, in my prison series, I got, like, a bunch of people, like, giving me free stuff all the time and giving me free money. In this series, you don't need to do that because I quite like more of a challenge and just being able to sort of play, like, equally to everybody else. Um, so don't feel like you need to give me any sort of free stuff. It, also, by the way, speaking of my prison series, it's really nice to see a bunch of you have, um, like, followed me over from the series. I see um, Brandon Plays and Kirkenstein and um, Dan Lees... Uh, are all people who were I met on prisons, so it's really cool to see all of you guys over here Okay, how's this going? Let's shove some stuff in there, so it's going as well There we go, and uh, I think we might go to the shop so that we can uh, Let's uh, turn these into um, Blocks and there we go. We've got one block and we can turn well We should probably keep all the coal, but we'll sell that one emerald block. So I mean a uh, lapis block So if we do slash spawn it TPs us back here to this beautiful like church type thing and then the shop is um, down here we're gonna have a warp sh uh, slash warp shop eventually but until then um, you just have to sort of run here it's pretty close to spawn right so we can sell um, lapis blocks for $75 so I, do I left click or do I right excuse me sir do I is it left click or is it right click you do not have 16 time oh so I need 16 of that to sell it okay that makes more sense um, is there a place to sell? Oh no no no! Don't pick it up! Don't pick it up! No no no! Oh, that was close. TT official almost got that. All right, is there a place to sell? Yeah, there is. Uh, wait, I could sell it for forty dollars, or I could sell sixteen of them for seventy-five. I honestly have no idea which one's more efficient, and I cannot be bothered to work out the maths. So I think I'm just gonna go for this one because I've got the exact right amount. All right, so do I left click? No, I right click. There we go. Seventy-five has been added to my account. So if I press slash balance. We now have $557,000. Ah, yeah. So if I do slash home, um, there we go. So I'm just right back to this beautiful little area, which eventually is going to look spick and span. I'm probably going to get some of my real life friends um, to join my faction just so they can work in the background and they can like make this place look a bit nicer because building's not really what I'm like particularly good at. And to be honest, we don't. I don't want to get like too emotionally attached to this area anyway, because I'm sure you guys will somehow be able to find it and uh, raid the area. Okay, so we've got um, nine cobblestone right now. So let's just work out where the boundary is for the wilderness. Okay, so this is the wilderness right here. So this is where we want to sort of fill up the area, if you know what I mean. So let's just build um, this. We don't want anyone to be able to spot us. And we'll just put that there, and we'll have a bit more. Oh, by the way... If I take my skin off, I mean, not my skin, if I take my armor off, you can see I'm wearing my badass sort of warrior skin, which is my special skin that I'm going to be wearing for factions, and this was created by the Ronan T. Not sure if he's on right now. Uh, is he Is he around? Yeah, he is. Uh, the Ronan T right there. Uh, oh, and there's X Brandon players who I was on about. So, yeah, um, how much more of this cobblestone have we got going on? So, basically, if you don't know, I'm going to try and sort of explain what factions is roughly. But bear in mind that it's being explained to you by someone who doesn't understand the game mode himself. <laughs> um, basically, you build your own bases and stuff. And then you are... The objective is to basically raid other people's bases and get better stuff. But you can't, like, um, you can't open other people's chests and you can't break the terrain that they've claimed. So you have to sort of very cleverly get in. Now, there's lots of different techniques. I know a technique people like to use is creeper eggs um, because you can basically place you could spawn a creeper next to a chest obviously it will blow up because you're next to it and then the chest will break and you can access all of their stuff so that's a cool technique that a lot of people like using okay so i think we should make some chests and i think i'm probably going to end off this episode but oh we've actually got some chests already so that's good i'm probably going to end off this episode use by doing a little bit of a pvp battle because why not and this isn't going to be like a super long episode because um, you know it's just an introduction to the series get you guys on and I'm sure it'll get so it'll just be a lot of fun when we have like a bunch of players on and people are always trying to raid me and I'll be able to like discover other people's bases and it will just be awesome okay so we can take this and is this area completely blocked off and because I'm up, I get notified whenever someone finds a particular type of ore. 
Um, I'm probably going to disable that uh, at some point, but until I work out how I disable it, um, it, we'll just have to get used to it. Okay, so where's the wilderness border on this? I'm just looking in the chat. Wait for it. There we go. Okay, so we'll we shall we want to make sure like you can s that it's it's not obvious that I've placed these blocks. So um, let's just do it like this. Uh, and then if I place it right here, will that look fine? And there, okay, so that's blocked off. And up here, we don't need to block that off. Um, but we will need to block off anything up here. No, that's good. We will have to block off this area, so that's all. So where's, uh, where's wilderness at? Okay, here's the wilderness. So we'll block it off. Right, actually, we don't need to block this off. We can just claim this bit. So we'll do slash F claim. Okay. And now we own this sort of little bit of a cave system. So I'll get a bunch of stuff in here. I'll get some of my uh, friends on here who I can trust to, um, you know, mine it out, make it look a little bit nicer. And I'm sure I'll get really attached to the place. And then you guys will um, find it and raid it. <laughs> and you can see there in the chat, um, you can get the, that is the link to the Bycroft store. That's not the final URL, but once again, we're waiting for the domain names to get updated or something. They're very, but they're being very slow. It's out. It's a, it's an issue which is out of our hands, but I'm sure it will get fixed eventually. So if you do want to support the server, then that is where you go to to buy more ranks. And we will obviously be, um, we'll be using like the money we get from donations to improve the look of the site. We'll we'll pay like an artist to create like a logo and stuff, and it'll just be cool. So anyway, uh, we'll put all of this stuff in here. Um, we'll, we'll probably have to get a little melon farm set up and some wheat farms and pumpkin farms so that we have a constant supply of food. We'll shove all of this stuff back in here and um, there we go. And also, if you guys do die when you, when you spawn in, then I think it's every like six hours or so you can do slash kit starter. And then basically that'll give you that'll give you all of your stuff back again that you um, that you get by default. And the different ranks give you better sort of kits basically, um, which will allow you to um, be sort of more protected and things. Did I just see a name over there? I really hope not. Okay, I'm very curious what biome I'm in actually, so I might check that out off camera. But I think that is uh, it's about time that we warp to spawn and just end off the video with a little bit of a pvp battle so i'm just gonna have a quick drink while you look at the inside of this guy's head map is saving <laughs> okay all right and uh yeah let's uh let's head over here and if you didn't oh hey one experience i recognize that name and if you guys did not uh see the live stream which i know quite a few of you didn't um then basically every 20 minutes or so it just says map is saving in the chat and i've decided that every single time that i'm live stream recording or just playing silently by myself i'm just gonna shout map is saving and uh, i hope you guys do the same and it'll annoy everybody so it'll be fun um but by the way what do you think of this build i think it's this is a pretty nice looking spawn area if i don't uh, say so myself oh and if you guys want to apply for staff then um let's just let people know that i'm a spawn if you guys want to apply for stuff, then I, I'm at spawn. <laughs> spawn. There we go. Correct. If you, if you guys want to apply for stuff, which I've said about 400 times, then you can... Um, I'll put a link to the uh, little sub form that you can submit in the, uh, in the description. So you just click on that and then fill that form out. And uh, you shall be able to... Um, you'll be able to maybe become a staff member. We don't need any admins, but you might be able to become like a moderator if we think that you're uh, like suitable for the job. And uh, we'll obviously be working on getting a forum set up as well, where you can report all of the bugs and that you can like build up a nice little community and stuff. All right, um, so let's just let everyone know. I'm heading to the, um, what should I say? I'm heading to the war zone. Come and fight me. Okay, and then hopefully uh, we'll do okay and we won't die straight away. Oh, there's a, there must have been a creeper explosion there. But basically, this is the war zone, so you can't actually edit this terrain. You see if I try and break this. Look, no one's jumped down. Oh, this guy thinks he's worthy. Come on, then. Oh, oh he is worthy. Oh, no. Oh, I got him. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, you're getting wrecked now, son. You're getting wrecked now, son. Oh, no, I'm getting wrecked. I'm on two hearts. Oh, no. <laughs> ah, he's pulling me. He's pulling me. Ah. Uh, Stop pulling me! No! <laughs> and this guy's got a diamond sword. I'm gonna get one hit in a second. No! Oh, I end up built! <laughs> this was a terrible mistake! 
Okay, e e e e e e e e e e no, no, I can't eat. Can I? Okay, go for him, go for him, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like that idea. Oh, no, 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 I've walked into trees, walked into trees. Uh, <laughs> I need to eat, I need to regen. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, run. No, half a heart, but it's all right, I'm regening now. Who's that guy? Um, maybe I'll go for him or something. But yeah, this this is the war zone where no one can edit, but if you travel about, um... Oh, I got sniped. Oh, GG. So if I do slash kit starter, then I can get my stuff back. Um, but yeah. Um, so if you guys head about 250 blocks out in that direction, then, um, let's just say GG. If you, if you travel about 250 blocks out in that direction, then that is, um, area where it's, like, free to roam and you can edit the terrain and you can claim it uh, as your faction. Or you can just use the random location, uh, t teleporter, which is a lot better, actually. Uh, oh, I don't have my bone, my hotbar. Oh, no. Uh, two, there we go. Is he going for me? Uh... Oh, I hit that guy. <laughs> and I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Oh, he's getting destroyed this time. No, I'm getting destroyed. Not again. <laughs> I'm in the exact same predicament as before. I'm on half a heart. I'm about to die. <laughs> I suck at PvP. So bad. No, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I'm on half a heart. Half a heart. He's going to kill me in a second. I might just let him murder me because I don't think I'll be able to get away from this. One. Oh, no, no. I think they might be going after each other. Nope. Oh, Flabber Pengu got me. Uh, his name's Jacob. Jacob, I'm pretty sure. All right, let's uh, slash kit, and then we have access to some more kits. So let's go for a harder one, just just uh, to give us a slight advantage. There we go. So we've got iron armor instead of chain now. Um, and we've got a iron sword and a power two bow. So hopefully now I've got an unfair advantage over most other people. I'll be a little bit better at. Uh, <laughs> at murdering them. Okay, so we're gonna have one last go. I'm hopefully gonna kill one guy. And then we shall end off the first episode. Okay, come on. Where you at? Where you at? Who wants murdering? Who wants murdering? Nobody around? Hey, this guy. Oh, it's a cow as well. We've got to murder the cow. Come here, sir. Come on. Come on. Yeah, you better run. He's running. He's running. Come on. Ah! Oh, nice, Jack. Nice. Oh, we got him. Yay! We killed the cow. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dan. Oh, what's this guy doing? Running away. Ah, okay, and whooshing. Oh, nice, and whooshing. Oh, nice again, Jack. I'm going for it. I'm on two hearts. <laughs> Bad idea. Ow, half a heart, half a heart. <laughs> this is so much fun. Oh, man. Oh, I missed him, I missed him, I missed him. Come on, I've got to be strategic with my ball shots. That was terrible. I don't know what that was. It was an embarrassment. That's what it was. Oh, and he got me. Well... GG to him. Anyway, guys, that was the first episode. It was a lot of fun. Um, let's uh, we'll just stay here around spawn so people can like t and hang out with me. Uh, hello, uh, you murdered me a couple of times, didn't you, you cheeky little fellow? Yes, you did. But I don't mind because that's what the game is. Anyway, um, yeah, it'd be really cool, guys, um, if we could get 500 likes on this video. I know that's a big ask, but uh, I just thought, you know, this is kind of a very special video. It's the first episode of my of my it's yeah it's my first video on my new server it's the first episode of my new series so 500 likes would be really cool and it only takes a second to leave a like on the video um and it really does help out it shows that you guys are as excited for this project as i am but basically yeah that's about it so obviously the ip is in the description and um, you can try um the proper ip or you can try the temporary ip i don't mind which um the temporary ip will definitely work the proper ip might work but uh, yeah, I think that's about it. So thank you guys for watching. If you want to support the server, then the donation links are in the description as well. If you want to apply for staff, they're in the description. And uh, yeah, look at this. Look at this cow holding a diamond hole. Get out of here. Get out of here. Anyway, yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye.